Apart from the excitement of Britain's has Got Talent with the acts, dancers and judges, you may have noticed two other things that some people like to call national heroes. I like to call them by their names. And to deck! <laughs> let's go, ready, ready, let's get ready, ready, let's get ready to rumble. Their radio, their radio, their radio rocks. Watch them wreck the mic, watch them wreck the mic, watch them wreck the mic. Psych! <laughs> Gentlemen, oh, yeah. what a joy! Uh, right. Got a beer song? Yes. Yeah. Nice. Well, and uh, why not? Why yeah, not? Why not? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, the good better. thing is, if you spill anything on this, uh -huh. it's wiped clean. clean. I've already spilled it on the table. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Earlier. Mm. Well, what a great night! Huh? Oh, what a night! What a... I've been so excited about tonight, about this first semi-final, and just kind of seeing Susan again after all this time. It's a bit like we are saying, it's a bit like, oh, I'm on the Susan Biles show, well, <laughs> isn't it? It was weird. I saw her in the corridor and slightly f got a bit nervous, actually, of even saying hello. You mm. should, you should. <laughs> <laughs> With most of the contestants, you should. <laughs> but it has been incredible. I know we spoke about it a lot, but it's taken a while by storm. Yeah, yeah. It, re it really has. You know, and this is our third series of, of Britain's Got Talent. The first two, yeah, they've been, they've been phenomenal. They've been you know, massive. This has just gone to another level this year. Mm. It is, it's gone global. It's, it's, it's phenomenal. It's a phenomenon. How pleased are you about diversity going through tonight? Yes. I am yeah, pleased with you. Um, um, there's kind of a, there's a bit there's a bit of talk backstage if you're a flawless fan or a diversity fan. And do you know what? I don't think it matters. I think they're both very different in what they do. And uh, I thought tonight they were really good because they'd taken what they'd done in their first audition and really added to it. It was funny. It was original. It was unique. And, it was so um, creative. Mm. Just really good. So you know, creative. Really, really good start to the show. Yeah. Now, flawless, obviously, on tomorrow. Uh -huh. Could you imagine if we had two dance? Yes. <laughs> no, as in, do you know what I mean? As yeah. in the very final night, it'd be great. It would, yeah, be, it would, it would be. be amazing. It would be. It, would be, it would be nice if the public backed an act like that to, to yeah. go through, you know, because for, so, so many people have said it that, you know, oh, we don't want singers to win. I don't think it would be a bad thing if a, if a singer won this, this show, but there are other shows for singers. Mm. Um, and it would be, it's nice that we can have a lot of variety on the show. So. I've, and, and they're great, you know, diversity and flawless, both very creative uh, and phenomenal dancers. The other thing I love is there's no, obviously, age bracket, mm. but obviously when someone like Natalie, at yeah. her age, starts crying, what, yeah. goes, what goes through Well, you? I felt for Natalie tonight, and it's always really difficult. It was the first show where we're massively running out of time near the end of the show, and you just want to pick her up and really cuddle her and say, say you're so sorry, but you, you really don't, you know, have the time to, to do that or, or the kind of facilities to do it, but, you know, we'll catch up and... With Aaron and, and say it's goodbye. So she's such hard. a sweet you know, she's kid. She's ten years old at the end of the day, and you know, um, I mean, we were probably doing auditions when we were when we were that age, but mm. not not in front of you know 12, 13 million people. Would you enter a competition like this? No. Uh, I don't think I would really? have the ball. No, I really don't think I'd have the ball. I, I, I really, you know, I auditioned for Bite of Grove and uh, and nearly didn't go. In fact, I lied and said that I didn't get the audition until my mum found out because one of my friends grasped me up. Leave it. It's all in the book. It's all <laughs> in the book. Oh yeah, September. <laughs> Oh, yes, yeah, so I wouldn't. So, so I can guarantee I wouldn't because I'd be t I think I'd be too nervous. Right. I mean, now, of course, I'm dead famous. Of course I would. <laughs> yes, you don't need but to. When now. I wasn't. And a book coming out as well. Yeah, I wondered how long it would be before you got there. Yeah. <laughs> nice job. Now, you are sticking around, aren't you? Yeah, we've got it, definitely, yeah. Until right. the end of the part. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know it appears that this show is seamlessly put together, mm -hmm. but I can tell you that there is a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes. Keep your eye out mm -hmm. for Susan Ball body popping. I just got here. I'm really excited. I'm Stephen. I'm costume designer. We have some big production numbers. We've got um, Faces of Disco. Some very, very tight trousers. Again, hopefully there's a little bit of a lycra weave in there. We've also got ten stormtroopers at the back of Darth Jackson. It is a difficult makeup job because you know you're worried for your life because you don't get it right, he'll kill you. I'm gonna have to use some of this because you've got a really oily tea zone. <laughs> I want to do it, that's 
spirit of the things, haven't you? Woo! Get a load of that, dear. Woo! <laughs> right then! <laughs> How about that? I'm telling you, you're surprising me more and more! <laughs> oh, man, it's what will you do next? It? Now, boys, serious now, let uh -huh. me cast your mind back to a time not so long ago. A time filled with the auditions and the inexplicable things that went with them. Ah. Oh. In a land before lunchtime, one man began a quest. I'm hoping to break a Guinness World Record attempt. Which is? How many fair rochers can be eaten in one minute? A formidable challenge. And what is the record currently stand at? Seven. Seven, 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 seven. Three, two, one. <laughs> but in a dramatic twist of fate. How many have eaten? Four. <laughs> was defeated. You failed. Accusations were thrown. What happened? Mr. Stephen Mulherin. Stephen Mulherin. Suspicions were raised. Take that, blame you. And regurgitations were felt. You were nearly sick. Others have endeavored. But all have faltered. Tonight. The quest continues. Oh, yes. Welcome to the Britain's oh, no. Got More Talent <laughs> for Air Roche Challenge. Can we have the chocolates, please? Oh, God. You're spoilers. Don't drop it. Very good. Thank you. Now, I'm not being funny. We've got a leaderboard and everything. Oh, you're kidding me. We are, we're taking this very seriously, <laughs> yeah? <laughs> now, James Boyd was the man who introduced us to this whole concept. Before that, we didn't even know it was a talent. Now, and you yeah, have yes. already attempted it, yes. haven't you? And both of you are here on your website have attempted yes, it. Yes, we have. On officialantondeck.com, we've, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we've attempted it already. That... We might write about it in our book. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we both did, and we both got the same as a draw. We both got five, because I had right. six, but I still had a bit of residue in my mouth, oh. so it didn't count. Right. Now, Piers was disqualified because he didn't swallow. Good. Right. OK? Now, you may have tried it on your website, but have you ever tried it with an official, yeah, an official Guinness World Record adjudicator from Guinness World Record smashed? No! no. I didn't think so. Come in here. Look! <laughs> 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 oh, that's how I see so nicely. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now, the current world record, and this is not a joke, OK, for eating the most fair rochers in just one minute, is seven. Wow. And it's held by a bloke called Jim in Denmark, right? Not a joke. This, however, all could change. Miss, Mr Guinness World Record, can you explain the rules, please? For sure, for sure. It's quite straightforward, uh -huh. but they are quite strict rules. At the start of the round, all of the rochers must be in their wrappers. Yeah. You can unwrap them during the minute, mm -hmm. right. but you can only eat one for our rochers at a time. You must completely finish it before oh, you start on the next oh, one. That and you must show Mr. me. World you must show record. me that you finished it. Right. Okay. okay. Do you understand what it's about? Every time. Yes. Sure. Yeah, every time we finish. Every time. Right. I'll okay. mark it down. Okay. And if there are any unfinished or half finished at the end of the minute, that right. I count. Right. And there's no drinking during the oh attempt. My goodness. He's hard, Colin. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Guinness World Records. Boys, are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Mr. Guinness World Records. It's over to you. On three. Come on. Two, Bit of encouragement one, as well for the boys. Go. Here we go. Stop the camera! <laughs> Come on. Right, first one goes in. Remember, you can start unwrapping whilst you are munching. That's good. OK. A very nice. You've got to show to make sure they've gone. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, very good. Go nice work. Right, you're on the second one. OK, cheer him on. Come on. Come on, Ant. Come on, Jack. <laughs> there is a guy yeah. in Denmark. Ant is doing very well. Ant is doing very well. <laughs> 30 seconds left, there's a guy in Denmark who's now got sweat on. <laughs> yes, go on, lad. Come on. Come on, you can do this. <laughs> oh, he's slowing down. Oh, no. Don't let him go the last time. Yes, Come on. Yeah. Six, five, four. Are you Can't right? that last one. I thought I was going to be sick for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I think okay. I still might, oh, no, I might don't. still be sick. Are you serious? <laughs> I know this is more talent, but that's too much. Right. <laughs> Whilst he's concentrating. How did I do? <laughs> Tell me, Guinness World Records man, what's oh. the results here? Well, Ant did incredibly well. He was on his fifth and nearly finished it, but there was quite a lot in his oh, mouth when he right. showed it. it was a bit Shut up, what hell do you know? So, <laughs> <laughs> Deck managed four. 
A valiant effort on both parts, but unfortunately no Guinness World Record. Oh, wow. So, hang on a second, is it four each? It's what? Is that what you said, four each? They both got four? Yeah, yeah I had so to discount and fit, you didn't, one. OK, fine, yeah. so let's pop this up there. Too, too much there you go, four and four. <laughs> always been your well, you've still got stuff in your mouth now. Grass. So then surely your surely last fourth that? one should be discounted too. Get rid. And I would have got a four and you would have got a three. Didn't spot that, did you? Right, right on that bombshell. <laughs> uh, it, it, let's, can I have a round of applause, please? Yeah. Uh, Anthony Deck. Thank you. Thank you. This world record, man. Thank you very much Thank indeed. You. Beautiful work. It is time for a break. We'll see you tomorrow night, by the way. Thank you. But don't go anywhere, because in a moment we'll be hearing... Why have you got a giggles? Huh? We'll be hearing from Angelica <laughs> Bell, Vanessa May, and Yvette Fielding. Um, and I'll be chatting to the finalists, Susan Ball, Diverse Oh! oh, oh that's a good one. Oh, right. We'll see you after the break. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Come on! <laughs>